Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can use Microsoft OneDrive. But first, what is Microsoft OneDrive and what can you do with it? Microsoft OneDrive is an online storage service which you can use to keep your files online and you can access it whenever you want using any device. Now it's free to start using Microsoft OneDrive and we're going to see everything one by one. Now this video is not sponsored but it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. We built this platform where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. So let's get started. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's start using Microsoft OneDrive. Now you can start using Microsoft OneDrive in two ways. First, you can install the OneDrive application on your computer. Then you can start uploading your files to OneDrive. Now the second way is you can directly go to OneDrive.com and start using it. Now first let's see how you can install Microsoft OneDrive on your computer. So to install OneDrive, just click the link below this video and you will get this page. Now to download the OneDrive application, just click download and OneDrive will be downloaded to your computer. Now to install it, just click on it and you can see that OneDrive is installing on our computer. Once the installation is complete, now click the file explorer on your computer and you can see that we have got the OneDrive option. So let's click on it and it will ask you to sign into your Microsoft account. Now if you don't have an account, just click create account and you will be able to create your Microsoft account. I already created my account. I am going to sign in with those details. So let's enter our email ID and click sign in. Now enter your password, then again click sign in and you will be successfully signed into your Microsoft account. Okay, once you have signed into your OneDrive account, now you can start using OneDrive. First, let's see how you can upload your files to OneDrive. Okay, so to upload your files, all you have to do is just go to the folder where you have your files. I'm going to click videos. Now select your files and right click on it. Then select move to OneDrive and your files will be moved to the OneDrive folder. So now if we click OneDrive, you can see that we have got our video files. When your files are uploading to OneDrive, they will have this reload icon. Once the uploading is done, they will have this tick mark icon. And also, it will be saved on your computer storage. Okay. Now let's say you want to organize your files with folders. So to create a folder, click this folder icon and add a name to your folder. Now select your files and drag it to your folder. Now if we open the folder, you can see that we have got our files. So this is how you can organize your files in OneDrive. Okay. Once your files are successfully uploaded to OneDrive, you can access it from anywhere by logging into your OneDrive account. So next, let's see how you can access your files from OneDrive using a browser. Just go to your browser and open a new tab. And type OneDrive.com and you will get this page. Now click sign in. Enter the email ID of your Microsoft account. Then click next. Enter your password. And click sign in. And finally, here you can see that we have our videos folder. Now if we open it, you can see that we have got our video files. So once your files are uploaded to OneDrive, you can access your files on any device you have and from any location you want. Now if you want to download a file, all you have to do is just go to the file, click on the tick mark, then you will get these options. Now click download and your file will be successfully downloaded to your computer. Now if you click on it, you can see that our video is playing without any issues. So this is how you can access your files from OneDrive using a browser. You can also play your files by double clicking on the file. Okay, now you know how you can access your files from OneDrive just by using a browser. So next, 
Let's say you want to share a file or a folder to your friend. How will you do that? So next, let's see how you can share files to anyone you want. Now to share your files, just go to the OneDrive folder. Now select the files you want to share and right click on it. Then select share and you will get this window. Here you can enter any person's email ID you want. I'm going to enter my friend's email ID and select it. In the same way, you can add more email IDs of the people with whom you want to share it. Okay, now here you can see that by default, it is set to edit access. This means when you share the file to a person, that person can edit the file. Now you can click on this pencil icon and select the permission you want to give for your files. I'm going to give can view only. Now to share your files, just click send and your files will be successfully shared with that person. Once you have shared your files, the person will receive an email. Now if we go to the person's inbox, you can see that the person has received an email about our file. So let's open it. And you can see that they have got the access link for the file that we shared. Now let's click open. And you can see that the person will be able to access your shared file. And here we have several options including the download option. So this is how you can share files with anyone you want. In the same way, you can share any folders and files you want. Okay, now you know how you can share files. Next, let's say you have some pictures or documents that you want to back up and keep updated as you work on them. Now for this kind of situation, instead of uploading your files to your OneDrive account, you can set up OneDrive's automatic backup feature. Then you can just save your files on your desktop folders as usual and your files will be automatically uploaded to your OneDrive account. So this way, you can save a lot of time and you need not worry about backups as OneDrive will backup and keep your files updated and you can access it from anywhere you want. Sounds cool, right? So let's see how you can set up the automatic backup feature. So to set up the automatic backup feature, let's go to the file manager. Now right click on your OneDrive folder. Then click settings. And you will get this window. Now click the backup tab and then click manage backup. Now you can see the folders in which you can set up automatic backup. I'm going to select pictures folder. Once you're done, just click start backup. And the automatic backup will be successfully enabled for your selected folder. Now if we click the OneDrive folder on our computer, you can see that our pictures folder has been added here. Now if we open it, you can see that our files has been automatically uploaded to our OneDrive account. Now to see how this automatic backup works, let's upload some photos to our pictures folder. So let's go to downloads, copy some files, now click the pictures folder and paste the files here. Now if we go to our OneDrive folder, and open the pictures folder. Here you can see that our new files are automatically added and uploaded to our OneDrive account. You can also add any files you want to your automatic backup enabled folder. And those files will be automatically uploaded to your OneDrive account. So this is how you can set up automatic backup for your files. Okay, now you know how you can set up the automatic backup feature for your files. Next, let's say you want to access your files using a mobile phone. Now to access the OneDrive files using a mobile phone, you need to install the Microsoft OneDrive app. The Microsoft OneDrive app is available for both Android and iOS. Now we are going to install it on an Android mobile. So let's open the Play Store, search for Microsoft OneDrive, then click install. Once you've installed it, let's click open and it'll ask you to sign in to your Microsoft account. So let's click sign in, enter your email ID, and then click this arrow icon. Now enter your password, click sign in, and then you will be logged into your OneDrive account. Now if we click files here, you can see that we can access our OneDrive folders and if we open the videos folder, you can see our videos. Okay, so this is how you can access your files from OneDrive using your mobile phone.
Next, if we go to our computer, then click here. Right click on OneDrive. Then select Settings. Here you can see that we can save files up to 5 GB in our free OneDrive account. Now if you have lot of files and it needs more than 5 GB, you can upgrade to a paid plan. So to upgrade your OneDrive plan, just click the link below this video and you will get this page. Now you can choose this plan to get 100 GB of OneDrive storage. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can use Microsoft OneDrive. And like I mentioned before, this video is not sponsored. But it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. We built this platform where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. So instead of spending hours and hours setting up your website and getting it to work, you can simply choose our templates and start putting your website into action in no time. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. Okay, next, let's say you have a Windows computer. It can be a laptop or a desktop and its performance is very slow. Now having a slow computer can affect what you're doing and what you want to do. So if you want to speed up your computer and get the best performance, you can watch this video. And also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.